everyone, this is Polygon Wizard. Welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. Today we're going to build a tavern slash inn in the city off of the town square. So we've got a lot to do. Let's get started. All right, everybody, today's episode is going to be a little bit different. I had some technical issues where I recorded the footage for the entire episode and I have the game audio, but I did not get my voice recorded. For some reason, like I double checked my settings afterwards to see why and it looked like everything was right. I don't know why I lost the audio, but anyway, I'm recording this later on while watching the video. So I might not be super on topic. Anyway, right here at the beginning, I was pointing in the window. I have the wither um, armor that we used a couple episodes ago up in the window. And I was talking about how maybe I wanted to build a stand to put it up higher, that sort of a thing. And now we're talking about this is the inn where we're going to uh, be able to have travelers or whatnot. I don't remember what I was rambling on at the time, but this is just kind of the basic layout I've got. It's slightly different from before when I had cobble around it. I made it slightly skinnier from front to back by about three blocks, if I remember right, just so we'd have a little bit more front on the, or a bit more front, bit more room on the front. There we go. <laughs> Get a bit more front on this building. No, <laughs> a little bit of room between the front of the building and the town square um, thing. I also, I think I'm talking about the rooms here. So this is going to be a three floor building. And this is kind of the ground floor where we're at now. And that's going to have a bunch of tables and, you know, chairs and things for people. So it's kind of like the dining area. And then in the back, there's going to be stairs down into a basement where the kitchen and the, you know, pantry storage, you know, anything you need to feed people, all that's going to be down in the basement. And then you have to walk around the back, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm pointing up. This is where a stairwell in the back is going to be. And we're going to have kind of like a river walk around the side of the building. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of landscaping to fit that in. But people will walk around the building kind of where I am now to the back to go upstairs to where all the rooms for rent are. So I don't know if this was on a server, it would make more sense. But hey, we're role playing this town. So they got to have the cool in. This is the nice in. This is not like the city part of town. This is, you know, the part where everybody's like, hey, we want to go there. It's really cool. We got to save up, you know, all your uh, nice dignitaries and stuff coming to town would be in this in this inn because this is the nice place to stay it's right by the castle it's off the town square it's pretty pretty nice and i think you guys will uh like it as it takes shape during this episode so anyway i do not remember what i was rambling about right here just sitting by my chests of supplies so i'm gonna move on to the next clip as you can see we've built kind of a base part of the front wall just uh, I checked in here just to show you progress and kind of give you an idea of how the walls are constructed before we get too many layers of detail and stuff on it so I did the top on that side on the right and in the second I will build it on the left I'm talking about a little differences so I'll try and remember to do some of that here so if you can tell by looking at it we've got uh, no blocks above the windows above and below and we've got black stained clay in between that's got like that dark chocolatey brown look and we're using all sorts of stone brick and then we're using some of the sea lanterns we got from over at the ocean monument for lighting above and below on some of these uh, walls and things it just has a cool contrast between the green and the dark chocolatey thing that's kind of the uh, color scheme we're going with for at least the exterior of this building is dark chocolate and stone <laughs> so yeah I'm pointing above there for no apparent reason who knows <laughs> when you're doing it in the moment it's easy to talk about stuff and be like yeah it's this and this and that and then you come back and watch it later if you've lost the audio and you're like uh what was I saying <laughs> so here I'm just I think talking about taking the pattern all the way around the building 
and you know talking about building the side walls and then in here inside the floor level is going to be the same as the doors there so we got to fill in the whole floor and then we're going to put on all the different tables there's going to be a fireplace in the middle then some zombie rudely interrupted <laughs> Now we've made even more progress. We've got all of the walls in and I've put up the second floor walls as well at this point in our footage. And I'm wandering around the side here just to kind of show you what it looks like from all angles. Let's see. So yeah, you can tell that I've pretty much just continued the same pattern around the sides, although the window sizes in different places are, you know, different. We've got double wide windows there. Plus we've added like sort of a side door entrance. And then here we're looking at the back wall, which has the stairs at this point, which I think I walk up in a second so you can kind of see where the uh, entrance to the second floor is. But yeah, you'll walk around the side, which we have to add a path for. Because <laughs> right now the building's right on the river, so we need to add some sort of a path. And yeah, you come up here and look, there's no floor yet! <laughs> but that's where you get into on the second floor. There's going to be several rooms of different sizes up there. And then there's an interior stairwell up to a third floor with even more rooms. So, you know, you got some nice, nicer rooms and you're going to have a couple smaller rooms that are a little bit cheaper. And what am I looking for? A uh, torch. There you go, torch. So this is giving you a pretty nice close-up look at the walls again. So uh, something I haven't mentioned yet in this is I'm going to use vines, which I don't get to in this episode, but we're going to add some details. So I'm going to have some vines on a lot of the walls as kind of uh, ivy or something that you see on certain buildings. It just breaks up that texture and it doesn't look terrible on its own, but it's all very samey. So what if I put in some vines in different places and use some string to knock it off and do a few different things that way? It adds a lot of character to this build. So we're definitely going to be doing that in between episodes. I got to gather some vines, which I didn't have any at this point. And I wanted to get the building built first anyway, so I didn't worry about it for this time around, but maybe by the time next episode comes around, we'll have all sorts of uh, ivy growing all over this thing. <laughs> I see a little log sitting on there. Apparently I missed one when I was uh, chopping stuff out and building this thing. At the beginning of this clip, I have added the front part of the roofing for most all of it. Not uh, There's one more roof here in a second, which I think I pointed out at the time, which is going the opposite directions perpendicular to this. So kind of left to right from this perspective here. There we go. Yeah, left and right. Uh, he's pointing with the mouse. See? There you go. Almost time to perfect. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. Yep, We're up on our fountain because it gives a nice view. I was trying to get on the dirt there. Totally missed. Parkour fail. But yeah, I'm um, talking about the lanterns here. Uh, I only had enough to make four black banners. And then the, eventually I'm going to add a little bit of a pattern to the banners too. Some little bit of uh, faded stripes. It looks pretty cool, but it just adds a little bit of extra detail to this kind of a fixture. I saw this um, Izumavoid did it on the Hermitcraft nether hub that he's been working on. And I think he got it from either his server or somebody else showed it to him from their server. I forget now because it's been a few episodes, but I like it, so I'm going to use it all over here. Anywhere you see a sea lantern hanging down like that, there's going to be some banners hanging by it just to give it some cool detail. It looks nice. And I also like how the sea lanterns just are a different light source. They look very, very bright, like something's really lit up. The glowstone, not so much. It's so busy. So you have to cover it up a lot more, but I think with the sea lanterns, they look really cool on their own. Um, and you can't put trap doors on them either, which is very strange. I wonder why they did that. Because, you know, on the surface, the sea lanterns are pretty much like glowstone. You just get them in a different place. Yeah, I'm pointing out the roof here. There's going to be a roof on the side where the peak is, you know, in the middle there. So that's what I was kind of pointing that on the side. But yeah, like we've got a pretty good idea right now. I'm just talking about how it's going to curve out there. So you guys will see that here in a second when we switch off to the next clip. 
Okay, we've reached the final clip for this episode. I have added that roof that goes left to right from over here, as I was talking about a second ago. You can, you can see there's a couple little gaps at the bottom there that I still need to fill in, but it's a little tricky area that has uh, butts up against interior walls, so I left that for later. I did not quite have enough time to finish off the entire roof. I needed some more materials and stuff. <laughs> and there's a zombie up there, which later on won't matter because we put some things up there that will get rid of spawns. So I put some stairs on top of that, I believe, with my design. And there's also a window up there, which I briefly mentioned. So it just kind of continues the theme. We got another small window up there with the same style as these. And the roof also goes kind of across. Um, below that like angled one from the front to the back there's like a row kind of the same way I've done on the first floor of uh, stone brick so it breaks up the windows even more that I haven't added so I'm just kind of showing you the progress now I'm going to finish things in between episodes is what I'm going to do finish the exterior and then the next time we've got the interior to do there's lots of uh, decorating and stuff so that's kind of the plan at this point uh, I'm talking about how I've like the design of the roofs uh, sloping out, I guess is the best way to put it there. So when you step back, you get a nice look at it. It curves out as well as doing the like curve from the front. So the way you do that is kind of like each segment, the way I think of it. So you've got like a stair and then upside down stair behind it and then a stair on top. That's kind of one segment. Then the next segment, you push it forward in space and that is an upside down stair and then a block and then another stair for this style of roof so it's kind of close to where I'm pointing right now where the, the log beam goes between and then the next segment is the same and it's forward in space one and then the next part is different on different of the roofs the even ones are in the front and then the middle one there is an odd numbered roof so it has a different peak than the others do and the way these things all meet up is a little bit crazy it is like they're slightly off. So it looks cool. But when you're figuring out, it's like, ah, oh, something feels wrong. But in the end, it all works out and gives the building some character. So I'm telling you, I have no black stain clay, I think, right here. I don't know. <laughs> I did use quite a lot of it. The black stained clay gets used quite a bit. It's all just the exterior and the interior walls. A lot of them are going to be uh, cyan stained clay because it's got this kind of bluish gray look that fits really cool. And then also on the interior, we're going to have some different color carpets. So we're going to have light and dark gray for the bottom floor. The upper floors, I think, yeah, we just do black and, or not black, uh, dark gray and light gray throughout the entire build. And right here, we're just uh, coming back a little bit further to get kind of further away from the building to get a nice look at it. So I see... A tree there we go a tree let's jump on you la 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 and there we go <laughs> I think I went over the tree so we get the beacon beam slightly off center but yeah that gives you this gives you a pretty cool idea of the scale of this place the only difference here for the silhouette is in the middle there is going to be a little bit of a chimney that I have not added yet which goes to the fireplace that so it's gonna be the big kind of middle part downstairs and then I toyed with the idea of having fireplaces on each floor, but it didn't quite work out. So all I did was just sort of block it off. So the chimney kind of is hidden in the center of the building on the th second and third floor, but it's still there. Woo. <laughs> I really like this look of the castle off on the side on the right there. It's, it's nice having another semi big building in between the castle and the tower. It's not as tall by any means, but it's still a, Decent sized build. This thing took quite a while for me to design when I was messing around, even in creative mode. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. I've got to add some more exterior stuff here. I'm going to move the uh, lamp post on the street that's right in the middle in the center of the doors. It's going to go where there's one on either side, I think, because you don't want it right in the middle. But this is all the time we have for this episode. I'm about to run out of footage, so I hope you guys didn't mind this uh, voiceover too much, and I'll catch you next time.